Hey, yet again I'm in the loft. I did get on really well yesterday, despite only wearing a sock. I felt so guilty about playing Plants vs Zombies for quite a few hours the last couple of days. I, I got on with it. Now apparently Charlie Higson, who wrote The Far Show, he, he does the same thing. He'll play like Call of Duty first person shooters on the PC for a few days and then be so cross with himself, he'll just have a massive writing session. So that's what keeps him going. So, yeah, there's lots of boxes of stuff that I've been taking down and sorting out. I found some really weird art stuff, actually, uh, like this, which I was going to chuck. And then I thought, mm, I quite like that. I think that was floating paint on top of water, and then laying bits of card on top of it. And, uh, yeah, there's some of all of that stuff. I think I kind of like it. And then from some of them I did prints. I'm not sure about that one. Maybe just sections of it work. Um, so that's good. It doesn't look like I've got far. Like these, these are like sort of weird role-playing games where you have fights. Uh, by throwing dice or something. Weird. Never really got into those. So yeah, there's more of those those things. Unfortunately, because they have blue tack on the back, the blue tack has sort of has been stripping away little bits of the one underneath. But hmm. yeah, you can actually see the paint things there. So I've got my bright light here. This is the sort of production values. Well I've got that's a normal light. That's the, the movie lights. They do make security lights make great movie lights by the way folks. You don't need to spend 30 quid or what have you. Uh, deodorant spray. That's a bit old. Now the thing about deodorant sprays are they don't seem to ever have a date on them. So I'm guessing yeah, it still smells horrible. <laughs> oh, that's not a great one, is it? Um, oh, hang on, it's a grower. It's a grower as it disperses. So, here's some paint stuff. Cars, some badges. I'm starting to collect badges. There's a really shocking picture of me. Um, oh, that's a picture of my dad on a key ring from Elche, it's a beautiful uh, city in southern Spain, quite near Alicante. <coughs> it's just palm trees everywhere basically, that's the big cell. And uh, these guys grabbed us with a video camera and we were like, what, video? And then they were taking stills off the video to stick on key rings. That's one of the many times my dad lost his wallet unfortunately. That looks like it's an oldie and not a goodie. So I guess I can chuck that. Yeah, okay. That's a keeper. There's a box for one of the electronic games I've got downstairs. I'd better get that downstairs. That's a bag I think I had at middle school. My sun sack. Now if that's washable, I'm guessing I could give that to someone. Maybe a niece. The first bit of proper rubbish. That's definite. I don't even have to think twice. That. So have I got something I can use as a bin? Oh, not like that. Fifth element on VHS. Right. Definitely need a box to use as a bin now. Um, there's some over there. Now, I have been freeing up quite a lot of these plastic boxes. So although it doesn't look like I've made much progress, the fact that I have been freeing up boxes is a good thing. A lot of them have now ended up downstairs. I think maybe the trick is to uh, get a lot of the stuff downstairs. There's my dazed and confused poster. Now, out of the blue, I got invited to a dazed and a confused party in London, which was awesome. I, I don't know, I need to hunt out these quirky parties, any AB stuff. You know, I've decided once this month's over, it's time to spend, spend, spend a bit. Book a few hostels in London, stay over to enjoy 
more than one or two things. That's not the one Dougie gave me, that's another one which is broken. Uh, maybe it could be spares. Why am I even saying that? What's this? Oh wow, that's a funky, that is a very funky guitar um, strap, I think. Or, no, I see it. That's for holding together a suitcase or something. Speaking of which, that's my rucksack that went round the world with me. And it did break a few times. Um, I was going to take it back to, uh, what was that from? <coughs> uh, the shop shopping maid stand that does all the camping stuff. The one that didn't close down. That's, oh, excuse me, that's a punch bag. This looks like a drum store. I didn't know I had two drum stalls. I did have two drum kits and I, I left one outside the back while I was deciding what to do with it. And uh, the guy was after some metal. And I said, yeah, help yourself to that metal. But he took the, took the excuse me, nearly said the rude word because it upset me. He took the drums as well before I knew it had gone. And uh, obviously, I wasn't too happy about that. But anyway, I learnt my lesson there. P45, employees leaving certificate, 91. I didn't leave anything in 91, did I? Uh, I guess that's an old one. I probably won't need to keep for my records. Oh my goodness, there's a load of eclectic stuff here. I mean, there's bits of puzzle as well. Oh wow, that's such a cute bunny rabbit. Oh, Already, though maybe because I was a bit disturbed last night. And... Um, I think this is some of the stuff I rescued from Nickelodeon. Well, I didn't rescue it, they had like a charity sale of all the stuff they didn't want, so you could pick these things up for peanuts. Another draft excluder. That, one, that one's uh, obviously, it's been a. There we are. Oh, look at the dust! You see, that may be another problem why I didn't sleep well. I've probably been breathing in lots of horrible dust. Uh, no, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is another luggage holder. Did you see I'm not really getting on with things? I reckon it's probably it's probably almost enough. Uh, I'm not, I'm not what's that? I'm gonna sit. Oh, that's a Nickelodeon blow-up tree. I'm surprised I can get a Wi-Fi signal up here, to be honest. Oh, wow. Let me look at that. This is my oldest power amp uh, I used to have in my car, which is awesome. Not only do you, is it add loads of power to your normal um, stereo, can put your CD in, which means you can have MP3 and all that, so that's kind of like current with it, with current technology, front and back, full speakers. You've got a graphic equaliser that shows you through LEDs where it is on the screen. That's great. That used to power some very large hi fi speakers I had on the back show 20% already. It's got my postcard. I think I can probably chuck that. St. Malo is a beautiful little place in Brittany. You can get some good deals. Really there. Ah, magazines, magazines, and oh, you see, I didn't think I did any art up until I took on the MA, but it turns out I did. Keeps disconnecting. I think I've got I have got a low signal now. Let's just try one more time, see what happens. Oh no, there's a load of cameras and stuff. I've already found a lot of this stuff I bought at auction. So there's an Amaz attached to me on.
BBC some Butthead comic. Oh yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to have a lot of difficulty working out what to do with in there. Um, so, I'm just going to, I'm going to carry this one down and then I'm going to carry oh, the other one down and then I'm going to shut up the attic and sort these up downstairs but I will wait until after the show to do that. Dear. Okay, now, I nearly gouged my eye out yesterday. Very close, like a protractor, big protractor went in there, like severely, quite hard. If that had been my eye, this would be coming from hospital. And stuff. Oh. This is like one of the heavy things. I, I have slipped a few times on the. Uh, I have slipped a few times on these stairs, which isn't good. But fortunately, nothing that's hurt me too severely. Things seem to fall down the hole as well. Oh, remind me I need to do my clothes in a second. Whoops. The trouble with this is... Uh, oh, is I completely blocked the way to the toilet, so... I'm going to need a sudden run to the toilet. That's big trouble. The great thing is, though... Um, that I've already been... So I shouldn't have to go for a while. That's something that needs a good home, as does that. I can clean up nicely, I'm sure. i make sure there's no wires. There's a long story behind that. Uh, quite a painful one, actually. But here we are. That's me pulling a spazzy face. And <laughs> What? <laughs> no, I can't say. Oh, sorry, guys. I can't say that. Okay. Right. I did, though. Uh, it's okay because I'm a child of the 70s. Political uncorrectness is okay. I've, I've tried to stop being racist, but I'm st I still hate white people. Of all the nationalities, white is a genuinely, generally, the most rubbish. Now that's no good because the. Uh, It's no good because the lights is up there, so I can't close the loft. I have to go up there again and pull the light out. So yeah, a lot of the sorting out's been going on here. Um, but yeah, like yesterday I wasn't here. I'm not wearing a sock today, as you probably noticed. Um, although I did enjoy that yesterday. Um, I have decided that the there's going to be some video installations in the house. I have decided I'm going to open up the house on Friday next Friday and I'm just going to have to start contacting people to say that's going to happen. Okay, now well done, you've reminded me I need to do my clothes. So, let's try somewhere a bit brighter. Oh, that's good, that's like a big box that I can just chuck. That's all sorted. Okay, so, here I am. The wound is just there, like fully protractorised. Um, beard's coming on nicely. I look quite frail this morning because of my lack of sleep. Someone's ringing up. Then I've got my top, my Norwegian top, my shorts. It's a colourful thing. Hello, Andreas. Yeah, I can do. I'm on the show, though. Yeah. Yeah, alright then. How's it going, dude? Oh, you, mean you're live on the show? Yeah. Can they hear me as well then? No, no, it's alright. Ah, uh, okay, good. Well, no, they can actually. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. Yeah, I've just put you on speakerphone. Ah, uh, alright. Speak to you later then. Oh, yeah, what? Sorry. That's weak. That's weak. 
Do I do? That's my friend Andreas Lambis from uh, college way back. Met the guy in 1989. Um, bonded with him and another guy who remained nameless because they were from London. And uh, and yeah, and he actually got back together with his college sweetheart, who he's now kind of half living with, half in London, doing this, doing that. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's like you know, friends for. We've had our ups and downs, like you do, you know friendships um, right well that's thrown me but oh yeah uh, the clothes but underneath this the Norwegian got this from TK Maxx a great shop if I feel like treating myself I have a string top from Cancun so I've got the oh no I can't see the Oh dear, it's a bit saucy, isn't it? Oh yeah, hang on. Not that I've ever worn it before, but um, it's quite sexy. I can't wait till I do actually wear it in a situation where people will comment on it and say, "Oh, where did you get that? That's that's so so sexy." So we haven't done any music. Uh, that loft is really getting to me, guys. Well. I won't go, well I've got to sort some stuff out, also these monitors, I found there's a couple more TV stroke monitors up there in the corner that I hadn't noticed, I haven't got those down yet, I think they are for the BBC Micro, um, so yeah I'll put the, shut the blinds in this room, it's sort of a bit precious now about um, the analog keyboard here, it's all plugged in. I mean, I don't know what to do with these wires, but I think people know I am a man who likes wires all over the place, so maybe I'll make the wires part of it. Maybe make it look dangerously part of it, if you know what I mean. So that's all ready to go. Actually, let's switch it to the... Oh, that is a good quality camera. I can do it one-handed, I guess. Let's get the decay. So what? So why is that? It's a VCA something voltage controlled amplifier.
playing something quite crazy on here. We could do some Chinese music. See what that sounds like. Why isn't that one working? Oh, interesting. sound awful now. stuff in the room here and decided that it's got too much stuff in it so that's why I'm going to put everything all over the house and yeah, open up the house and give myself a goal of next Friday which is the day after I will be coming out as it were. See you later guys. Mm.